hello everyone welcome back in this video we are going to see how to create this simple calculator using tkinter uh, module of python the main aim of this video is to give a basic concept of how some widgets of tkinter works so let's see well I have created this new uh, Python file uh, so on PyCharm. So let me start by importing the tkinter module. I will say import from, sorry, from tkinter import everything. Now let me create the window instance. Let me call it window and window equals capital T or uppercase T small k then parenthesis now let me make this window appear on the screen by saying window dot main loop now this simple three line code will create for me the basic tkinter window now let me run it simple calculator now this is what i have got now let me rename this window i mean i will say window dot title then now let me write uh, two inverted commas i will say simple calculator okay now if i run it <coughs> now you can see that it is simple calculator the window geometry window dot geometry and from here let me write the width and the depth so the width let it be maybe around 500 by maybe 400 and let me run this okay fine and, uh, let me make this one 300 yeah this looks fine now let me start by creating a uh, the first entry section and the second entry section now let me have the first label which says maybe label one or num num one label okay num one label this is will be label and this will be appearing on the window and let me have the text to be uh, enter the first number okay now I can uh, play with the font however not important now num label dot grid uh, row equals zero and column equals zero now if i run this here i have got the first label now here i need to have the entry widget now let me define the entry widget let me say num1 entry then this will be entry and this will appear on the window okay and again i can play with the font but i'll change it later now num1 entry dot grid this will be on row row zero and column equals one now if you want to know how this grid system works please refer my previous videos okay now i have this small entry section and this is my first label okay now let me play with the font now here let me font equals bracket then let me write arial for example and the size to be maybe 12 if i run this 
now this is becoming bigger now let me copy this to the entry fine now let me run this now i have this one let me have some border bd equals maybe five for the entry widget here i have some more beautiful entry section now let me go to the second entry part let me copy this now let me call this num2 <coughs> and here num2 here in num2 entry 2 and here 2 the other thing that will be changed is enter the second second number and the location will be row 1 here it will be also row 1 now let me run this wow this is the first this is the second okay now it's done now this is called this is my first section that is the entry section if i want or if i am interested i can give this a label frame so so that i can organize uh, this uh, calculator in a better form now let me provide a label frame and you will see the difference first let me put this in this end okay let me fix it here you see this space let me remove it by so this is the first let me go here label in the grid section i will write sticky equals west now if i run this you see it has now fixed it to this end so now it's uh, becoming so more organized now let me create a frame here frame uh, one equals label frame and this frame will appear on the window and the text that will appear on it will be let me call it the entry section okay text equals entry section let me have a space here two space here and two space here okay let me now show its location frame dot grid and row equals zero column equals zero if i run this i am sure you will not see this frame because there is nothing inside it so we don't have any frame here now i need to put some widgets inside this frame for example these labels these entry uh, widgets should be inside the frame then the frame will start appearing in this periphery now here when i come to the label one this label is appearing on the window let me make this one on frame one so then this frame will act as a as a screen itself okay inside the window so let me show you how this works let me call this one frame one done and here frame one this is the first label and the first entry if i run this you will see that they are inside okay now you see this simple this small frame here now let me put the second uh, two widgets okay again frame one here let me take this to be frame one and again here frame one now let me run this now you see this is what's happening okay now let me provide some space here and in the internal part also in the frame part i will write part x equals maybe five and part y equals five and if i run this um, now i have some space from the end of the frame now this looks maybe better than the previous one let me change the font section here let me copy this font for the frame and paste
paste it here okay and let me add here bolt uh, entry section this is it now let me provide the radio buttons in the bottom here that shows me the operations okay now uh, let me create here radio button okay so for example uh, addition or add okay this will be radio button the radio button will appear on the window for example later I will change and put it in the frame and the text because we need three things in the radio button the text the va the value and the variable so I will show you one by one here the text will be addition okay the value will be value equals now let me write addition or add with uppercase and the variable let me call it v okay done but this v is unknown so it is uh, underlined with a red colored line now add dot grid let me provide with row equals maybe one and column equals zero okay now let me define this v now here the value that i have is here a string now i will say v equals string variable done okay now if i run this i will have this addition radio button okay again still i can copy the fonts copy and put it here maybe here fine so let me run this i have this now a better looking radio button now let me copy these four times for the other three operations the addition uh, the subtraction the multiplication and the division okay copy copy paste and paste here now let me call this subtract subtract subt okay let me call this one subt again here let me call here subtract and the value let's be subt Okay, all with uppercase S U B T. Then here, let me call this one divide. Sorry, uh, D I V. Radio button here. Divide, and here with uppercase D I V. And finally let me call this melt melt now here let me write melt multiply and here m u l t okay let me have these things now the variable is all the same because when i click on one the other should not be uh, selected okay now here let me write here column one here column two maybe here column three if i run this i will have oh here it has all went uh, this part now let me provide a frame here a label frame here now let me call it frame two let me copy this one simple frame 2 and frame 2 now this is row 0 column 0 let me have this row 1 column 0 and here I will say operation section operation section okay now 
these radio buttons must be inside frame 2 frame 2 and again here frame 2 okay these frames helps us to better organize our widgets so it's better for us to use in such conditions if I run this oh there's some problem here here what do I have here uh, uh, okay let me run again subtraction and addition okay here what I what what we have here is subtract dot grid it's okay here div dot grid not defined so I have to say div dot grid again here malt dot grid now let, let me run this yeah the four operations are all here but they are all selected so let me put one selected and the rest unselected now let me add a default value a default selection to addition here I will go to this part I will say v dot set then I will write the <coughs> here one of my operations I will select addition now let me write uh, let me set one uh, let me set the default uh, selection to addition now v is the value okay now when you define the radio button the value will be assigned to the v okay now the value that we want to be set is this one okay add so now here i will write add this is in uppercase add so now let me run this and we shall see that the addition is selected by default now the person will be asked to enter uh, the numbers here maybe the here but it's not working now okay now we have to define a function that will calculate for us whatever we want okay now let me go to my code and let me assign a command to these operations okay to these uh, radio buttons now a command here let me write command command equals operate or operate operate here yeah. okay now I have to define this operation define operate now for each for each radio button i will define one operation okay one operation now let me say for this one sorry here let me call it add it or add add operation and here let me write subtract operation and here let me write sorry here command let me copy the command and let me paste it here okay now here let me copy this one and let me paste it here and let me write divide operation and lastly here uh, command will be multiplication operation now let me define this this is add operation okay add operation this will work what let me first whatever the user whatever the user enters into entry one let it be saved inside some variable now let me call it num1 num1 that is the number one it will be what whatever the user enters into entry one will be gotten here now let me call it entry here we have 
entry num1 entry okay so num1 entry dot get so whatever the user enters in that entry widget will be gotten and it will be saved inside num1 however whatever the user enters will be understood by this code as a string but we want it as a number now here let me add float here so that it converts from a string to a float because the user may enter 2.5 2. Point something or 3. Point something whatever it is so the value that will be entered inside entry 1 will be converted into a float and it will be saved inside num1 okay now that will be num1 again num2 equals float of num2 entry dot get dot get so now when the add radio button is call, is uh, clicked i want num1 plus num2 okay so here let me say answer equals num1 plus num2 simple okay num1 plus num2 but this will be calculated here it should be it should appear on the window okay now let me define a label after calculating this okay answer answer label equals a label a label it will appear on the window okay and the text will be what will be answer but this answer is a float form now i have to convert from the float form to a string form so i will write str of what of answer done now if i want i can copy the font the fonts yeah maybe let me add here bold done now let me write here the grid answer label dot grid now it will be under frame 2 so frame 2 is on row 1 column and this so i will have row is equal to 2 column and is equal to maybe 1 whatever it is okay now this is our first operation okay now i need this operation for every radio button that i have here I have add subt, subt, subtract operation. Now num1 will be saved here to here. Then I want num1 minus num2. And the answer will be this one. And the location will be the same here. Now let me copy this again and paste it. After this everything is becoming very simple. Now the third operation will be div operation so let me write div operation i want the numbers to be saved inside number one and number two then i will have this divided by this and the answer will be this one okay and finally the multiplication and i will write here the mult multiplication operation and i want num one times num two then it will appear here now i think everything is okay here let me run this and see how it works okay let me see three and let me see this three if i click on addition it shows me six here if i click on subtraction three minus three is equal to zero if i click on divide three divided by three is equal to one if i if i click on multiply three times three will be equal to nine let me check another one 10 or and 2 if i add i will have 12 if i subtract i will have 8 if i divide i will have 5 if i multiply i will have 20 okay so this is a simple calculator you can put this one maybe here or wherever you want 
for example here on row 2 column 0 okay the label add will appear on row 2 column 1 let me make this one 0 and this one also 0 and this one 0 okay now if I run this and I will get this one 8 and maybe 4 now let me start 2 you see subtract 4 addition 12 multiplication 32 now so this is a simple calculator the main aim of this calculator is not to to have this calculator okay to you to, to, to to use this uh, calculator in your daily activity however the main aim is to give some basic concept for the beginners to have how label frame is defined how entry widgets labels and these radio buttons are defined and how you can uh, have some simple mathematical calculations inside chicken okay so if you have enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and support me with your likes and shares okay thank you guys see you next time